you wanted to find out more about what is going on in the world that you do not necessarily get in the newspaper. The forums that they have on uh, Sunday morning at 10 o'clock are oftentimes very excellent. Because they keep having such interesting and fascinating forums and speakers. And I, I have no college degree, but I feel like I have earned two doctor's degrees by attending. The original building was built in um, 1937, 1938, and there was a major addition in the 50s. It's unique as a piece of architecture because it has evolved over time as the liturgy has. Um, it started as a very traditional church with a traditional Latin cross sort of plan, and then there's been a major addition which has introduced an asymmetry in the plan, which is really quite unusual for churches and represents an evolution in liturgical, liturgical architecture. A lot of people, probably like myself, are attracted by the fantastic music. That it's not generally religious music, so that makes it different than probably 99% of the churches. Also, the stylists can vary quite radically from Sunday to Sunday, covering everything from classical music to rhythm and blues, jazz, gospel, world music. We like to think of ourselves as theologically elastic. Now, some of our members are dyed-in-the-wool atheists, and some come from theist traditions, and some of us don't know what they believe. I think Third Church offers an opportunity to be somewhere where you can be comfortable with your values, with your beliefs. God is welcome, but not attendance is not required. <laughs> I like the fact that we get to believe whatever we want and we can explore any religion we want. I like being able to find out what I believed and learn about other um, religions. We really want to see those smiles of engagement and excitement on the faces of our kids. That's important to us. Anything that doesn't fit that model, we just toss out. Dr. Martin Luther King in 1967 was going to come to Third Unitarian Church. And at that time, I said, I want to see that man. And I marched with him, Bill Mount Cragen, and Gage Park, and here on the west side. Stumbled into the church, um, mostly around uh, their gay rights issues. We're wedged right in the middle of the neighborhood with a lot of problems. And we're involved. We help neighborhood kids go to college through our scholarship fund. Seniors from high schools in the Austin community to give them an opportunity to go to college and be able to get a first start. And at the end of every summer, we invite all the neighbors over for a party and they go away with book bags and school supplies for their children. It's just like having a family of your own. The very first day, um, my first experience was 25 people said hello. Knew instantly that it was, a, it was a match. People keep coming because it's such an important part of their life. People think of rational humanism as cold and impersonal. And at Third Church, we appeal to the head and to the heart. And you, I invite you to come see what we're all about. I invite you to come get involved.